welcome back to the channel Katie here and today it is a beautiful Saturday we drove down to Littleton which is like 10 minutes from our house and then we got on the ferry and ferried over to Diamond Harbor so if you can see oh so sunny the ferry is leaving to go back over to Littleton but this water is absolutely unbelievable I can't get over how blue it is like even this close to the shore I guess like you would expect or we would expect at least the water to be this color like out in the middle of the ocean but the fact that it is this color like right here it's so beautiful but once again everything around us is beautiful we'll never get over it <laughs> yeah especially you mm -hmm. <clears throat> but I think we're just going to walk around and there is a Mount Herbert walkway over here but it is classified as hard and takes like eight hours if you do the whole thing so maybe we'll do like one eighth of it and go out and come back uh and just see what it's like but come along with us and then just to put it out there I know that I've talked about different like walks and things taking certain amounts of time and sometimes there are people that are like it should never take that long like what are you doing um I'm gonna put a screenshot of the all trails app that shows the Mount Herbert walkway that I am talking about uh to just show you that it says that it is gonna take um that certain amount of time <laughs> so no one questions me like I said we're not going to do that anyways we are going to walk to town for now and go from there wee little doggo so pretty so we went into the town for a little bit and looked at the Stewart Cottage, which is an old cottage uh, that they have open and they have beautiful paintings in that you can purchase for more than we can afford, but they were gorgeous. Uh, and then we were like, mm, let's just keep walking. And we found this coastal walk. And let me just show you, like this is real. Like this is just what it looks like. We came out from the bush back there and I like turned the corner I was like oh what so gorgeous cannot believe it's real we found a nice little tree branch on the edge right off the pathway pathways back there to just sit and chill at I'm gonna see if you can catch the kayaker before he's gone oh no he went away <laughs> ah uh, we've seen some people kayaking in the river by our house too, which, I mean, yeah, why not? But every time we see it, we're like, oh, just people kayaking. Uh, here, let me go this way so you can like kind of see the water. Maybe this way? Or maybe just this way. <laughs> uh, something fun that is super exciting that's happening soon. My best friend, Megan, who is actually the maid of honor in our wedding, is coming to visit with her sister. They'll be here for almost two weeks at the beginning of November. And I think I will probably cry every single day that she's here. She's just the absolute best and I can't wait to show her our new home and spend some time with her. I haven't seen her in person. We talk every single day, but um, I haven't seen her in person since our wedding, which now is over a year ago because she lives in Chicago, Illinois, and I lived in Nebraska. So we would fly to see each other every once in a while, but it'd be so good to have her here and her sister. Uh, we have a full itinerary planned, lots of hikes, and exploring. We're gonna go down to Tekapo for a couple of nights and uh, Mount, which mountain is? We're going to Tekapo and then, is that Mount Cook? <laughs> I don't know, I need to do a check of geography. Uh, but we're going to Tekapo and then, uh, yeah, I think it's Mount Cook and then like doing that track. And then a couple of days after we're doing a wine tour. And then after that, I think we're going to Arthur's Pass and uh, Castle Hill, that's the name of it. And then we are gonna take a drive down to Akaroa and explore there. 
and then of course spend a couple of days just hanging out in Christchurch and visiting the beach and having those days in between the big travel and hiking days to kind of reset and refresh. Uh, so if there are things or certain hikes that you love around Christchurch or something that I haven't mentioned that we haven't done uh, and you think that we should do or you think I should show Megan and her sister, let me know and we'll try and work it into the schedule. But the first day that they're here, the first full day, we're actually going fly fishing. Uh, Megan's sister really wanted to do it and so me and Megan are just gonna go along and uh, it'll be a fun day. Honestly, would I ever um, choose to just go fly fishing on my own? Probably not, so I love that we're getting to do it uh, and I'll try and capture lots of video and memories uh, with her as well to share with all of you. Um, sometimes too I'm sure I'll just want to soak in the fact that she's here and be off of my phone but I'll try and capture it the best that I can uh, but yeah so 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 excited for that and then Keaton's parents and one of his little brothers are coming in February around his birthday uh, so we're super excited and are planning that out uh, in advance for that trip we'll take right down to Queenstown in Mil 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 Milford Sound and maybe take a trip up to the North Island we'll see kind of how time plans out but uh, just the thought of like getting to show people this like people that we absolutely love uh, more than anything in the world like this is our home and this is why we love it so much and just getting to share that with them will be so special so looking forward to it every day counting down the days for sure uh, but for now we're gonna sit here and enjoy this view for a bit we should have got brought snacks never forget snacks we spent a couple hours sitting in that spot and just kind of talking about what we want for the future um, with our life and this channel and uh, trips home and other trips uh, that we want to take in the future. Um, and we could just sit there and talk for hours about all the things that we want in our life. But the ferry was on its way, so we hopped on and came home, got changed into some comfy clothes. I'm repping my college um, back in Nebraska, and then we are just gonna go grab uh, some food quick. We really don't go out to eat too much in Christchurch, but when we were sitting there, I was just craving uh, like crappy bar food or like just like, I normally eat pretty healthy, honestly, but I was just craving like, some like greasy burger or fries or something like that. So we are gonna go to a burger place that Keaton's coworker recommended. And I figured, why not just show you uh, also where we go so you can come with us to dinner, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy was that an experience first of all okay so the place that we went to was called reburger is that what it is yep. reburger uh it was really good i had a bur burger but <laughs> like chicken um they're basically chicken tenders with a buffalo honey sauce on them with like creamy ranch oh so good uh and then keaton you had fries with it was like barbecue sauce cheese was there bacon on them i think so yeah like thick cut cut bacon and then how was your burger i didn't even ask it was good what, did, what was on it I couldn't tell you. <laughs> Don't remember. Whatever. It was good. Um, but there were like, also this lighting is terrible. Sorry. Uh, there were like 12 teenagers mm -hmm. in there when we got there, all just waiting for their food. So we waited like 25 or so minutes for our food, which I don't mind waiting at all. Um, it was just the kids behind us were 
very rowdy and sing one of them was singing high school musical songs and saying which ones he recommended which I felt because like it was my teenage years when a high school musical came out and so he was singing all of them I was like oh this is gold like this is great like please keep high school musical alive uh, but it was really good and it's fun to explore different little holes in the wall um, of food places here that we normally don't go to we're finding in New Zealand a lot of the restaurants or like burger places or like even we went to I think Hell's Pizza one time they don't have a lot of seating I think a lot of people must just do takeaway and yeah there's just not a lot of places to sit so it's just a very small room with a lot of people in it and then they left and um, the teenagers left and it was a lot more calm but it definitely filled my like craving for like greasy <laughs> yummy food which is great uh but yeah I think that's it for today we're gonna go home maybe open up a bottle of wine if we have one and then watch a movie and go to sleep but anyways as always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time